Okay, so let's have more examples. So suppose that we're asked to differentiate f of x equals sine of 2x plus 1 all over 3x minus 1. <clears throat> so again, uh, we, we differentiate this. And we know that the, de the derivative of sine is just cosine. Okay, and again, we simply copy whatever is inside the parentheses or whatever is the angle. And do not forget to get the derivative of whatever is inside the parentheses. Okay, so that's why we have d dx of 2x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1. And if we get the derivative of that, we can use a quotient tool. So again, our u is this is our u and this is our v so we have v du v du minus u db okay all over v squared of course and then our concern right now is just the derivative of this derivative of 2x plus 1 and derivative of 3x minus 1 so for the first one we have 2 and for the second we have 3 that's why we have this And then we can distribute 2 and 3 to our terms here so that's why we have 6x minus 2 and 6x plus 3 so take note I am NOT yet taking out the parentheses or the parentheses rather because again there is a minus sign here so we need to distrib distribute the minus sign that's why we have now 6x minus 2 minus 6x minus 3 okay so take note it's plus here then distribute it becomes minus 6x minus 3 then we can cancel out 6x and minus 2 minus 3 is just negative 5 okay, and we can actually write this one as this so I multiply cosine to the numerator and then the negative sign here is just here okay over 3x minus 1 squared and that is our answer for this example okay let's go over to the next example what if we have e to the power of tangent of 3x plus 1 so we get the derivative of e to the power of tangent of 3x plus 1. It's just e to the power of tangent 3x plus 1. And then don't forget to get the derivative of the uh, exponent because of chain rule. Remember, it's u, du, dx. And what is the derivative of tangent of 3x? It's actually second squared 3x plus 1. But take note again because we get the... Uh, derivative of tangent and there is uh, a function within a function so we'll get again the derivative of whatever is inside so that's why we have again 3x plus 1 so again uh, it might be confusing at first but basically we get the derivative of e we get the derivative of tangent and then we get the derivative of 3x plus 1 that's why it's actually chain rule okay so it's actually 3 and then we rearrange so we have 3 e to the power of tangent of x plus 1 second squared 3x plus 1 and that is our answer so again uh, if it's still confusing to you uh, first is get the derivative of e which is just e to the power of u okay uh, it's this part here and then get the derivative of tangent what is the derivative of tangent second squared okay and then we need to get the derivative of the angle because it's second and then what is the derivative of the inner function or the angle it's actually three and then that's how you get the answer
Oops. Okay. So, uh, just disregard this. Okay. So, let's have our given first. We have ln of r tan 3x. We're getting the derivative of ln r tan 3x. So, first we have, take note, since it's ln, ln, the derivative of ln is just 1 over u, then we have du dx. So we have our u as r tan 3x. That's why we have 1 over r tan 3x here. And then do not forget that we need to get the derivative of whatever is inside the parentheses, which is r tan 3x. Okay, and we'll get this because remember the derivative of, so we just copied this part here. Okay, but this, the derivative of r tan 3x is actually, remember we have 1 plus u squared du dx. This is the derivative of r tan. Okay, so you may actually try to look, to write the formulas and just look at the form okay, or the form of the given or the solution in this scenario. So we have 1 over 1 plus 3x squared or quantity 3x squared. Then take note there is still 3x. So we'll get the derivative of 3x which is 3. Then we simplify quantity of 3x squared which is 1 plus 9x squared now here. And then we rearrange we multiply, we combine, and then we arrange. <laughs> and that's why we have this answer. Okay, so that's all for this series here. Thank you for joining. In the next lesson, we'll be dealing with higher order derivatives and implicit differentiation. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye!